Hi everyone, so I'm going to do something a little different today. I usually have been posting about Happy Planner stuff, but today I'm going to show you some envelopes. So one of the various things that I like to do is reuse and repurpose things, especially paper related stuff, because I am frankly obsessed. And the best way to do that is to um, make envelopes because I do a lot of pen palling and I think it's fun and it's like extra exciting when you see a pretty cool envelope coming in the mail. So the envelopes you see here are some of the ones that I've made. Uh, these ones here are actually cut out of an old National Geographic magazine. This is from an old atlas. This was actually like wrapping paper. These ones were just plain white envelopes, but I drew on them and glued stuff on them to make them a little better. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to use existing like images and paper to fold into your own envelopes. So I'll show you that now. As you can see as well, the ones I just showed you are all various sizes. I mostly use the larger size here. This one is like extra, extra large. I don't really use that a whole lot, but sometimes. Um, so number one, what I do, everyone does their envelopes a little bit differently. So I found various envelopes at thrift stores. I just pick them up because why not? Uh, they're cheap and I'm going to use them. So I had found this extra, extra large one. And what I did was I actually unfolded it. So I took away all of the glue uh, with my letter opener and completely folded it out and created a template for myself that looks like this. So I used Bristol board for this, just traced the outline, told myself which size template it was, and this is pretty much my tried and true way of making my envelope. So what I do is I take my template and I put my paper or uh, images behind it trace it and then cut it out and start gluing. So I've got an extra large template. I have a large template that looks like this. And I also have a medium sized template that looks like this. So I'm actually going to make some with you today. I'm going to be using uh, this striped one here that has a little bit of glitter in it, which is really cool, and this argyle print. So I think these will look really neat um, as envelopes. I'm gonna make those. I pulled them out of this paper pad pack, the, the Glam Gal stack. Not something I would have ever purchased on my own because it's not really my style. However, I did get it at um, a thrift store for $2. So, I mean, how can you say no to that? And there are some pretty colored, uh, colorful pages in here. So, you know, very glittery, very, you know, in your face. Some of them are, but, you know, you can cut them and repurpose. And for the sake of, you know, an envelope, it's pretty cool. So that's the paper pad I'm going to use uh, my paper out of today. So I think we'll start with the Argyle print. I'm going to get my pencil, which actually looks like it needs to be sharpened. I always like to do it with pencil because um, pen is a real commitment. And if you have shaky hands or anything like that, it could be problematic and you might get the wrong lines. So I'm going to do a large one because as I mentioned, that is the size I use the most. So I'll use this. And I like to go as far to the far edge as I can because I like to reuse any of the extra paper if possible. So I'll cut it out and put it for backgrounds on my happy planner. Or again, I'll cut it out and send it to my pen pals because a lot of my pen pals also repurpose paper and decorate their envelopes or their letters. Or they have other crafting projects that they could use it for. So honestly, share the, share the repurposing love, I guess. So I've got my outline. You might not be able to see that very well on the video, but I can see it really clearly. So I'm going to start cutting it out. I know a lot of people, when they make their envelopes, they really focus on a lot of folding and cutting. They don't really trace. And, I mean, kudos to them. That's amazing. 
Um, I equate that with origami because it's really good and they've got it down to a fine science, but I am not that good. <laughs> so I definitely rely on tracing because it helps me know where to cut and feel more confident about the lines that I'm getting. Obviously, once it's cut out, I do fold it and then I tape it down or um, tape or glue and it's all done. But yeah, just the folding, freehanded folding kind of makes me nervous. It intimidates me quite a bit. So when this is all cut out, which it's almost done now, um, I usually use just a normal like Elmer's glue stick um, and it works great. Uh, my pen pals have given me feedback that they have had no issues with the envelope um, breaking open or falling apart, which is wonderful. Uh, definitely important. You don't want your, your letter and your goodies to fall out. There, see? So we have this perfect template here. And some of this scrap paper is not really going to be great to use, so I'll just cut off the scraps, get rid of that, and keep this for another project. So now we fold. So I flip it around and I start folding. All of these are flaps. Okay, so this is actually your envelope size right here. The rest of this is a flap. So we're going to fold this on the edges like so. Try not to overlap my paper as much as possible because it, it makes big dents and creases and it just doesn't look very good when you do that, but there. So now I have my creases. I know where to glue. Here is the envelope. Very simple. I need to grab my glue. Seem to have run out of my glue. Sorry about that guys. So um, I'm using the extra strength glue stick, but you do not need to use that. When I started making envelopes, I was using just a normal Elmer's glue stick and it worked great. I just happened to find these extra strength ones at the dollar store. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. So I just glue my tabs like so. And I'm pretty generous with the glue because you never want to be uh, too safe with that. Just want to slab it on there. Done. And then when it comes time to actually seal off my envelope, I just use a bit of clear tape and I usually put a sticker there as my seal. I know a lot of people are into using wax seals right now and they do look pretty beautiful, but I don't quite have that tech as of yet. So that is my large size envelope. It's pretty cool. Uh, perfect size for me sending letters and goodies. Um, I think I will show you now what I do with the extra large template because it's so big that with the large, you can just place it on the paper and it works pretty well. Same with the medium. You can pretty much put it anywhere and not worry about placement, but with the extra large, it's so huge that you have to be careful where you're putting it or you're never going to get your paper. So I place it on a diagonal so that I can get the most, number one, most paper, and number two, get the whole template on the page so that it's actually going to be functional. Um, anything smaller than a paper pad uh, piece of paper is not really going to work because it's going to be too small. So this size is usually good with like a wrapping paper or paper pad paper. And again, this size is really huge, but um, here in Canada, you don't actually have to pay extra postage on this size. So that's always a plus. You can get um, more paper in there inside of your envelope, more goodies, and uh, not have to pay extra. Because I'm all about that cheap, <laughs> cheap life, honestly. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut this bad boy out of here. Again, these are not really paper designs that I would typically use like in my planner. Um, 
just because they're, I don't know, I find them kind of loud, but you know, they're beautiful as envelopes for sure, or even to write your letters on. So I know some people, myself included, have used them almost as a backdrop to their letters. And they just use like white paper to put it in the center and write the letter. And that's really pretty too. So I always like to use the bigger sizes for goodies. And my, my pen pals always receive stuff. Uh, whether it be paper cutouts, stickers, um, word searches, mazes, coloring pages. Uh, one of my next projects is actually going to be making bookmarks to send to my pen pals because most of my pen pals are avid readers. So I think that would be really cool. Let's get rid of our scrap paper. Okay, so now we have this ginormous envelope and so it's important to pay attention to the details because now you're thinking you know what do we do so the top here has a rounded point and the bottom here has a flat piece this is the bottom this is the top so what we're going to do is flip this over and again we're going to start folding like so because these are our flaps and again, the flat piece, this is our bottom, it folds up over our flaps like so to make a pocket. And then we fold our bottom down. Easy peasy. Done. So now I just have to glue it. So with this one, obviously, I'm not gluing the entire um, tab because obviously the whole tab isn't being covered. So we're just going to line it up so that looks like it's probably about the size of the glue stick itself. So that's perfect. So we'll just go on the outside like this. And again, generous with the glue. So I want to be extra sure that it's nice and safe. Actually, I think I'll go up here too. And I am pushing down quite firmly just to make sure that that is really adhered. And voila, we have an extra large envelope. So that was super easy. The video is only, you know, 13 minutes long-ish. We have two envelopes. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, leave me a comment below if you have any more questions. Have a great one.